Hey, this is Chris Badger. I play bass and fly Janet. Um, today I'm going to do a, a rundown of my bass rig and like pe like pedals and bass guitars and things that I use for like us for live shows and uh, for like recording and stuff like that. So I use a Quilter Pro, Pro Block um, and I have it running through a uh, Ampeg. This is a 210. It's one of the micro cabs. This thing has just been so awesome. This Quilter, it's a uh, like really light and compact and easy to travel with and play shows. But I stack both of these on top of the road case that it goes in down here, if you look and see. But everything fits in perfectly, or I can just take the head if I need it, super light. So these are a few of the bases that I play. Um, I'll, like This is my main one I've been using lately. This is a like a P-Base kind of build that uh, Drew and I made. I uh, recorded our first EP, Rachel, pretty much I think like 100% with it. Um, and then I recently like upgraded the neck. I got it like a jazz uh, Fender jazz bass neck and been playing it for shows. It's been a lot of fun. Thing plays great. Um, I used this Jaguar for recordings. I think we did uh, use it on a few songs for Vince's birthday and um, and then like maybe on the other albums too and some stuff we haven't released yet. But I'll use this one a lot because of uh, it has tape wound strings and it just kind of gives it a really cool like vintage sound. But um, I'm thinking about putting some regular strings on it because I miss playing this one live too. And then I have, um, I think this is like called a Jolana bass, if I'm not mistaken. It was a, um, it's like a weird, found it in a weird music shop around here where I live. Uh, upgraded the pickups to some lipstick pickups. And Drew helped me to rewire everything inside of here. We added a toggle switch, but this thing has uh, been really fun. I've recorded, I think I've recorded a couple songs off of the new EP, um, Easy Money with it. I did like Mango and maybe one other. This is the last bass that I will show you that I, that I use a lot for live and recordings. I, I know it's been on a couple songs here and there, I just can't remember off the top of my head. But this is Dan Electro. Um, I put some wallpaper on the pick guard here, but this thing's been, uh, this thing sounds amazing. Uh, growing up, like my favorite bands were like No Effects, and so I feel like I've always wanted one of these. But this thing, it plays amazing, it has such a good BB sound. So this is my pedal board that I use. Um, I start off, I have like a little tuning pedal, it goes to a compressor, then I have this uh, Blooms, it's an earthquake device, it's bass overdrive, just to like a, a chorus pedal, then a volume booster when I need it. I purposely keep a, a small pedal board case to limit my like, like I guess want to like add and add and add and add, this way like, if it doesn't fit in here, I can't, I can't use it. So everything I need is like right here, nice and compact and try to limit myself from just buying a bunch of bullshit. So that's everything I really, I mean, essentially use for us. Um, I have a bunch of other, I have a few, well, I have a bunch, I have a few other guitars that Drew's, Drew and I have either built or that I'm like in the process of rebuilding. I'm sure he'll be on soon to do a rundown as well. Um, Thanks for having me. It was a lot of fun. It's always cool talking about the sound stuff. So.